Jamaica tar with um, uh, or sardine tar with a little bit of seaweed. Very, very easy. Something which I, I like to do a couple of things like when we're doing things on TV for people at home, how they could just make something up very fast yeah, yeah, by even if not sitting to make every component of it, then at least trying to assemble it because there are some things which you can buy very easily, like seaweed. If you didn't know how to marinate seaweed, but like when we put in a little bit of sesame seeds, we put in, uh, after we blanch it, we put in uh, uh, chilies, we just marinate the seaweed. But you can buy seaweed salad even in Whole Food, you know, so you could just get something like that from Whole Food, all right, if you like. And here is what we have it. We add just a little more of the olive oil, just initially, I mean at the end again, sorry, to refresh it. The spice level is something that I leave it up to each person. All right, if you like things a little more spicy, definitely just add as much chilies as you like it. I do like it, I would say, on a medium spice level. So even though it had been marinated initially, I like to add in at the end, depending on what I'm making. So for a tart, I think I go to a medium level just because it's much better in the terms of things will take off the flavor as we're using uh, a puff pastry base as the tart. Well, this has been baked. If you didn't, all you have to do is take a piece of frozen puff pastry. If you're, uh, if you're even buying it again from the store, that's fine. We had it, that we had made it, we've cut it round, you would do something like that, push it into the oven at 350 and you would uh, get uh, it baked in about 10 to 12 minutes, it should be ready. Alright, so if you have a tart like this, again what we do is we we'll just warm this a little bit, we don't want to warm the seaweed but we do want to warm this. So we are just warming this tart, place up, alright, just for a little, uh, few minutes. We've got that done here. Another thing that we have is for this start is pickled ginger. We are gonna just make a little sauce, uh, more than a sauce, just a side aspect for this start. And uh, we are just slicing up the ginger. Maybe I'll just a tad bit more. Again, this is something that if you feel pickled ginger is something too strong for you. You can always use some other pickled uh, 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 aspect, like I mean uh, a lot of Americans like just pickles. I mean if you like that, why don't you just chop up the pickles instead. Like do something that works for your palate, that is more important, that works only for my palate, or what I think should work for your palate. So, we've uh, got that going. Well, we're gonna just add this pickled ginger in here into this bowl. We're adding a little bit of sliced onions in there. Again, if you feel onions are too sharp, you can always use scallions because they're a little more soothing, a little more mellow. You could use chives, something from that same family, which is even more floral. And so just work with something that really speaks to you. Olive oil, uh, a little bit of salt in there. We're just gonna mix it and just let it marinate for a couple of minutes while we assemble the chart. So, as of right now, we've got the top right here. Over here, you've got a paste of tamarind. Uh, basically, it's a, uh, you can take the whole tamarind pods and just hydrate them once and wash them out the next time over you break it open and just boil it in hot water for about a good 20 minutes or so and then pulverize it in that of course you always want tamarinds a little tart so you want to adjust it you always want to like have a little bit of something to mellow down the very tart aspect so in about uh, four pods of tam uh, tamarind we would put about maybe a tablespoon of sugar uh, you could either, some people, if you really want to avoid sugar, you could add other sweet aspects like apricot, so you could add uh, 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 raisins, or you could add honey, anything that would be a more natural substitute to make it a little more toned down, whichever way it is. We, uh, what we've done is we've added a little bit of raisins in here uh, to sweeten it. Again, as I said, if you don't 
have all that, just add in your a, a tablespoon of sugar and it will be fine. Or jaggery is really good because again, it's very rustic, uh, the flavor of that sugar. So just after that paste is made, all we are doing is just spreading it nicely because that will give you that nice dark point to this dish and leave it right there and lastly we have the mackerel now as for the mackerel uh, I, I really like uh, uh, the, I mean I, I've always liked fish which have been pickled and stuff but a little more of late is because since the time the tsunami has hit a lot of people have become very uh, skeptical of buying fish from Japan and I think it's really sad that uh, some industries are suffering so badly and I just feel that if we can help some industries out a little more I think it would be great uh, so this is from right from there from Japan we're gonna add this seaweed which we had on the top just spread it out nice and light Again, if you are a less of a fan of seaweed, you can put a little less on it and add more mackerel to it or a different fish if you like. Tuna, you can do it with tuna, you know. Do it with something, again, with a fish that you prefer more. You can always do that. And just lay it out very randomly on the tarp. It's Just to give you a kind of idea, it's puffing right now. It's still a little, you can press it down, push it back in, then we'll turn it over. So. And then lastly, we do have our onion as well as ginger relish that we just made to give it a little more pungent point to this dish. And that's it. If you again, if you're a person who likes spice a little more, you can always throw in a few chilies on the side and have it with that.